got your boy QCP mother allegedly saying that uh that he uh beat her up, him and his sisters beat her up a couple years ago when the Migos first won their Grammy six years ago. And the night that they won the Migos, the we Migos won a Grammy. She said, congratulations, son, on your Grammy. He turned around and said, mama, your life over with. And she said, she said, damn, you know what I'm saying? God damn, why you say that? You know what I'm saying? So she ended up saying that she ended up being sacrificed the whole time because she don't get to see none of the kids. She ain't even get, she don't need to get to see her grandkids. She don't need to get to come around. They be trying to hide her. You know what I'm saying? He don't be breaking the all, giving her no payola, giving her no bread and butter, and giving her no milk and honey. You know what I'm talking about? So she just fed up. She just came out. I guess, you know, take off her death was just a way to lie on her. And she said she just couldn't take it no more. You feel me? So, yeah, boy, it looks like it's real bad. She's talking bad about her own son, man. She said he a witch in a warlock, that he's baby mama a witch in a warlock. And that she be, he be goddamn cutting chicken heads off in the basement and doing hulu and voodoo and, and watching Hulu, man. Who knows what he be doing, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. This all alleged, you feel me? So, and she just talking real, she talking real greasy about your boy, man. Pierre Thomas, that's his name. Q Quality Control, uh, CEO, you feel me? So, she, she also said, uh, she said, uh, what she, what she say, uh, but yeah, she just talking good. She say she's just tired of his, she, you know what I'm saying? He tried to hold the money over her head and stuff like that. And he, she just tired of that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know this all legend, but what y'all think, man, y'all like, share, subscribe. And, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, shit, man. Share this shit, man. I don't know, man, but. Hey, some fishy, man. I, I believe they get something to do with takeoff getting murdered, man. Just to be honest, man, because shit, too much, co too many coincidences in this situation, man. You look at the video message alone, that tells him, that tells how he gonna die, man. Like, for real, man. Like, that's why I say it's all the sacrifice, man, at the end of the day. And then you get Aaron Carter, he died like two or three days later. <laughs> and yeah, man, his mama, she was just talking, she was just talking major shit about this nigga, man. She said, man, the nigga don't be breaking her, breaking her off, man. Got in the, she's still in the hood and shit, man. The nigga got five, six rolls rushing around, around the city, man. You know, stunning on his own mama, man. He's stunning on the bitch, man. Not to call his mama a bitch, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's how a nigga talk, man. But yeah, man, it's fucked up, man. Yeah, boy. So y'all stay liking, y'all subscribe, share the message, man. See you later, baby.